Back, you're locked on to the SABC News Channel. Well, tributes are indeed pouring in from across the political spectrum for Environmental Affairs Minister, that's Edna Molewa, who passed away earlier this morning in a Gauteng hospital. We're now joined on the line by SABC News Foreign Editor Sophie McQuenna, who's on the line to us from the uh, Free State. Uh, good afternoon, Mum Sophie, and thank you for your time on the SABC News Desk. Much sadness and shock. Uh, at home as the nation grapples with the uh, with the loss of the late minister Edna Molewa uh, but she really set the scene on the international stage uh, as well and what comes chiefly to mind that it was under her watch uh, that the environmental affairs department uh, that the historic Paris agreement uh, to combat climate change was signed uh, at the UN in April 2016 Yes, indeed, she played a prominent role in ensuring that uh, the UN member countries do sign uh, the Paris Agreement. Uh, you'd recall that uh, at times uh, people were scared that the talks were collapsing because all the parties were not prepared to have give in in terms of what they were supposed to do. You know, the, the main uh, uh, countries, the industrialized countries, were very very difficult to, co to be convinced that they should sign, America in particular. But uh, she played an important role in ensuring that uh, countries do sign the Paris Agreement. But unfortunately, uh, she was very sad later when uh, Donald Trump, the president of the United States of America, pulled out of that agreement. Mm. Uh, to bring it back home, Sophie, uh, it was also so many firsts for a woman in politics uh, in a party whose leadership we know is still very male-dominated at this point. In April 2004, she became uh, the first female premier of the Northwest province. She was also the first and remains the only female to ever become a provincial chairperson of the African National Congress. And in 1994, she became the first woman uh, to become chair of the party. Portfolio Committee on Trade and Industry. Uh, and these were high-profile posts and no doubt uh, an easy journey, g journey getting there and then uh, uh, navigating uh, these positions, Mom Sophie. She was very brave. Mm. She was very assertive. Um, the fact that she was able to convince the world to sign a prayerless agreement, the climate change agreement in France a few years mm. ago, speaks to the character of this woman, Meet Namolewa. You spoke about how she became the first premier of Northwest and also had a, a chairperson of a province. She was a hard worker. She was very committed in terms of uh, her political career. It's for that reason, last year, the outcome of Nazareth didn't sit well with her, where the ANC in particular regrets in terms of the uh, empowerment of women. You are aware that currently the top six of the ANC dominated by men. You only have this situation with the Deputy Secretary General. Mm. I mean, Deputy Secretary General from Deputy Secretary General. I mean, there was no way Jesse could have been promoted to another PEPS uh, position. She was very, very ugly. But also in terms of government work, she was at the forefront in trying to push South Africa and the world in general to fight the rhino poaching. You know very well she was in constant communication with those countries where uh, this trade is right and is booming. I'm not surprised that uh, she was recently in China because the Asian countries, this is where this problem is right. She was really a competent leader. You recall that uh, recently, I think during Mandela month, uh, she was at the United Nations, and that's where uh, Mandela was honored when they were launching the Mandela stem. She represented South Africa. And tomorrow, uh, Show and Bright is at the UN, New York. He will try to get reaction from the United Nations because mm. uh, on these Paris Agreement climate uh, talks, because they continuously engage uh, countries. Uh, he used to communicate with the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. Mm.
Mm -hmm. uh, just five months ago, we interviewed Edna Molewaya on the passing of Mamwani Mandela, and she called Mamwani uh, a firebrand, uh, a true patriot, somebody who was brave and resilient, uh, and also a role ma model for black women. Uh, tell us, Sophie, why you think Edna Molewa remains uh, such a strong role model for black women in the country at this point? It's her work. It's her work. Even in the party, she was the NDC member of the ANC, but also you should know that support time she was serving the ANC International Relations Committee and when there were talks about uh, the country pulling out of the ICC, she was there, she was leading those talks. Those are very difficult and challenging talks. When a decision and a resolution was taken by the ANC at the Congress last year, where he took a decision to downgrade the relations with Israel, she was at the forefront in terms of chairing that committee and that ensuring that uh, that resolution is taken, but also to push that it must be implemented. So you can see all the time she was dealing with very challenging issues. I mean, the climate change, I've just cited an example of a Paris Agreement. It was so, so difficult for countries to agree. There was a time where everybody was saying the talks are collapsing. But as a woman leader, not just a woman, she was able to ensure that finally the countries adopt a text. And today we have what we call a Paris Agreement and with the aim of ensuring that we protect the, uni the, 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 the world for future generations. So she has made a huge contribution, not only in South Africa, but globally. Mm. Uh, the SABC uh, foreign editor there, Sophie McQuenna, on the line to us from the Free State. Let's move on to some other news now. The Department of Justice and Constitutional Development has set aside uh, this week to educate members of the public about the importance of drafting.